Hello, and welcome back to Jordan vs. Life. Today, we're going to be working on this axe. Now, as you can see, it's pretty rusted. So today, we are going to be restoring it. I'm pretty sure this is just a cheap Coleman's axe. But hey, a good axe is a good axe as long as you take care of it. Hatchet, my bad. So let's go ahead and fix it up. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I have been trying to get this head off all freaking for like a good 20 minutes. I've tried tightening this up and screwing it off. I've tried banging it off. This head is not coming off. Not even with a nuke. So I'm just gonna work around it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it up with the grinder. Clean up all this good gunky stuff off of it. Make this part flat again. Then I'm gonna take a Dremel and I'm gonna get this stuff out right here. After I'm done, I'm gonna give it a nice sharp edge maybe touch up around here, get all the rust off of here then I might give it I was gonna say maybe a paint job like a nice red kinda like what we did with the grappling hook make it look like a mini fire axe so let's go ahead and get started guys always whenever you're going to use the grinder make sure you use lung protection especially this stuff will really hurt your lungs Alright guys, so I got as much as I could off with the grinder, well, the belt sander. Now I'm going to hit up with the grinder, and I'm going to take off the rust right here that I couldn't reach, a little bit of places over here, then I'm going to take the Dremel like I said I was going to do, and I'm going to hit it up right here, and then I'm probably going to drill a lanyard hole right in the top, that way whenever I'm going to swing down, I got the lanyard in case I miss and the thing is flying off into anywhere, my, my leg, so let's go ahead and do this.
pumps. I'm about to clean up the inside with my little Dremel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. See you guys in about, I don't know. So now I'm just going to go ahead and touch up the bar because it looks really ugly compared to the axe, which I'm going to touch up too to make all the lines go straight. Then I'm going to give it a nice red paint job. Just on the head though, I'm going to leave the bar and the handle the same. Then after that, it's all finally finished. I'm going to touch this up because as you can see it's dull as a rock right now. And we'll be good to go. Alright, so out of a bad habit, I didn't record this. So I went ahead and drilled a hole through it. And I put it on this crappy little lanyard. So whenever you go to use it, you just wrap it up like this. And then you're good to go. So let's go and give it the paint job. We can hang it upside down even by the lanyard while we give it the paint job. So let's do this.
I'd have to say this thing has come out pretty freaking nice looking. And I really like that red on there. Gives it a nice fireman's axe look, you know? So now, I'm basically just gonna hit it up with the grinder. Make it all sharp and pretty. Or we'll chop it up a little bit of wood. Cause that's what these are for. These are not weapons. Unless your weapon is a hatchet and your enemy is wood. Then it is a weapon. Alright guys, we're gonna be testing out the axe. Cause if the axe can't cut wood, then what do you have it for? I'm kidding, I love all countries and continental breakfasts. You know, the tax don't suck, I just suck at chopping wood. There we go. Pop, pop, never taught me. There we go. Chop that board up just good enough. Did scratch up the paint, but who cares? It looked cool, it was cool, but we're done with it. So, this is definitely going in my camping bag. Thanks for tuning in again on Jordan vs. Life, the building side of life. Now, I had a lot of fun making this project, but it would've been cool if I could've gotten the head off and really gotten in here but I wasn't able to, but that's okay because it still works just as good. Now, if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that like button down there, or there, or there. I don't know what device you're on. Also, if you like more content like this every week, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, it's still down there. You know what else is down there? That comment section. If you got a comment about this or any one of my other videos, go ahead and leave a comment down there. And if you do, I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Y'all have a great one. Peace!